In recent weeks, I offered unprecedented detail on exactly how we would shut down the administrative state, the anatomy of how we would dismantle the U.S. Department of Education and reorganize some of those functions into the Department of Labor under vocational training while shutting down the rest, giving money back to the states and to the people, how we would shut down the FBI, taking those 35,000 employees and breaking them into two categories, the 20,000 who actually should find honest work in the private sector and get out of government versus the 15,000 special agents and investigators on the front lines who could be reorganized into the U.S. Marshals, the Drug Enforcement Agency, and the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network that haven't been politicized in the same way as the FBI. I've explained the legal authority that we would use to get that done on a strong constitutional basis that gives the U.S. president that power. That's the stage of the campaign we're moving into. And one of the issues I will be most focused on is the effects of shutting down those regulations in that regulatory state on stimulating our economy. That's something that affects all Americans, black or white, Democrat or Republican, and something that is a businessman myself, I have a deep understanding of how to actually address. The numbers on the surface are deceiving. Biden says that unemployment is low. It's only 3%. Well, the reality is the unique challenges we face today are different. They're on the side of productivity, on the side of actual GDP growth. The real problem for businesses today is that we have more job openings than we do have people in this country. So the facial unemployment number is the wrong number to look at. We need to get to the essence of how we actually fill those vacancies in the workforce, stimulate economic growth, actually stimulate productivity in this country, not through more hiring in the government, but through more productivity in the private sector. In the coming months, we're going to be getting into the details of the how, the focus on not just our cultural cancers in this country, but how those cultural cancers have infected our economy to make us less productive. Why, when we're less productive, we prosper less as Americans, and why, when we prosper less, we lose our sense of national pride. We wonder why young people are no longer proud to be an American. One of the secrets is people tend to be more proud of a country when we're all making more money in that country. I'm going to be offering a sweeping economic vision of how we lead our nation forward, back to prosperity, back to four plus percent GDP growth. That's a big part of how we revive our national identity. That's the phase of the campaign we're now entering. You now know me. You now understand my broad vision. But it's now my job to tell you exactly how we will get that job done. And my commitment is that we will lead the way in this race, as we already are, in offering unprecedented detail and specifics. That's against the advice of my political advisors. They tell me to dumb it down, to keep it simple. I view it the other way. I think our Republican primary base is incredibly smart, incredibly hungry for that detail. I'll respect the voters, and I hope that you'll respect me back. Thank you.